¿Qué pasa, mi gente? Mira, aquí estamos, Miami Vice Style. Hey, hey, you know, hey. No, no. <ríe> oh, bro, man, ya sabes lo que pasa. Mira, si lo que estás mirando te gusta, ya sabes lo que tienes que hacer. Uh, encanta la vida. Tenga fe en lo más poderoso. Hey, calm down, man. It, they got me some, like, some sub subtitles. Like with the ball. Remember back in the days with the ball? It just tells you what, what I'm saying. <laughs> Slow it down a little bit. Rewind. Hey, man. Subscribe to the channel. Stop wasting time. And um, subscribe to the channel. Visit the website, R2DREC. Purchase the merch. And uh, like the video. Share this video. Hit the notification bell. And also drop a comment, man. I like to interact with my with me gente. Ya tu side, man. Ya tu side. Hey, look, today, today's a serious one, man. We got we, we really gotta talk about this. And I'm gonna put a little bit of light to the situation instead of like everybody else trolling the situation, making fun of the situation, bringing up the past of what the person was like and all this other stuff. Like, look, man, look, look. Pon atención, compa. Look. Young Thugger. Whew. Hey, look, Young Thugger ain't the only one. There's a few other artists, Casanova. Um, you know, like, there's a lot of artists right now going through this, this cycle, right, of past charges, certain situations. You look, what's in the streets needs to be stayed in the streets. Once you reach a certain level of music, of hip-hop, try your best to try to stay away from that. Try your best, you know. I don't think nobody looks at people different if you're making great music. If your music speaks for itself, you'd be good. But you also got to understand some of these people that are in this situation, it's very hard for them. It is because the upbringing, you know, like how, you know, growing up, how was it? You know, because I know when me growing up, it wasn't easy. You know, there were certain things I could have done, certain things I could have went towards. But I said, you know what? Is it worth it? Because... You know, going a certain direction could lead to two things. It could lead to many things, of course, but it could lead to many things that are not good for you. You know, you got family members out here fighting for you. you if you have kids and kids have no no, no upbringing and, and, and the cycle just continues. And it's, it's, it's hard. It is hard. I'm not saying it's easy, you know, and I don't know people's situation, but as I said before, with this specific podcast, I'm here to just motivate, inspire, and move forward. You know, stop pulling people back. So, by me saying what I just said right now, I don't know the full situation. Let's just be real. I'm going to keep it 100. You know, I see things and, you know, I don't like talking about them too much because what's understood ain't got to be explained. It's out there for the world to see. So, if you want to Google what's going on with Young Thug, go for it, you know? get in that rabbit hole and start digging and start figuring it out, whatever. If you want to be an attorney, go go be an attorney, go be a lawyer, go do whatever you got to do. But me personally, I think this is a, a, a lesson to be learned. What I mean by that is that for the youth, by seeing somebody that, you know, y'all probably admire or probably listen to or, you know, some of these artists y'all, you know, y'all look up to, take it as a sign and saying, hey, you know what? This ain't the direction I want to go. Maybe I need to go this direction. Because these are prime examples of things that happen, right? It's almost like when Pablo Escobar was out there doing his thing and then you want to be Pablo Escobar, what do you think is going to happen? It's, it's already laid out for you. Things happen for a reason. Everything already is there for you to say, hey, if you go this direction, this would, this would, what, could, what could happen? You know? And when I think about Young Thug's situation, Gunner and all them, you know, I'm like, it's unfortunate. It's just an unfortunate situation because what was it like? His baby mama got killed. One of his baby mamas got killed recently. It's crazy. Now he's going through something. It's just, for me, as an artist, I try to stay away from stuff like that. I've been in certain situations where I'm like, man, if I go that direction, but then I'm like, at this moment in my life, I have kids, so I got to really think about the... Um, the longevity. Yeah, it might sound good. It might sound like, okay, yeah, that's good for the moment, but is it going to be good within two, three years or is it going to come back and haunt me? And me, my message to the youth is take this as a sign. 
Look at it. Just envision it. If this is not what you want, don't get involved in it. Don't get involved in it. Because, like I said, it's very limited as a situation, what, what the outcome is going to be. So, you know, hopefully whatever homie's going through, he, he fights his case and we'll see what, where it leads to. Because we don't know 100% sure people's motivation or, mo or motives of doing things. Not motivation, my bad. Motives of doing things. You know? It's almost like, I always think about it like this, right? Because I remember having a homie back in the days. He said, uh, he got in a situation, right? And he just, he just was being open with me. He was like, what if it happened to your brother? What would you do? You know, what, what, would, what would Thiek would do? And you start thinking like, you know, I love my brother. So I might go that direction, you know? So you, it, it's just, it's so many things you have to think about. So we don't know. And I'm like I said, I'm not here to troll nobody. I'm just here to inspire people. And hopefully that the youth wakes up and say, you know what? This ain't the direction I want to go, you know? It, it ain't all fun and games. People forget that it's entertainment and forget that reality kicks in. And then it's like, oh, I, I got to be as real as I can. Real, real, real. You think the streets care about that sometimes? Well, do you think the streets care? That's what you got to think about. Because it's only very limited to the people that care for you. Really. Because once you get caught up, phone calls stop. They're like, hello. Ain't nobody there. Maybe your mama's there. Maybe your dad's there. Maybe your family, like your brother, sister. But other than that, who else is there? See, they love you when you're out there and they hate you at the same time. So you got to make a good choice. The choices are very limited once you get in. Hopefully the youth will wake up and see that, hey, this is a lesson we need to learn together and hopefully we can unite and just build, build, right? One step at a time, build where you're coming from, just build and, and go up from there. But also remember to subscribe to the channel. Appreciate y'all tuning it in. Press like if you like what you see. Also share this video. Drop a comment, hit the notification bell, and always remember, always, always remember, have peace in your heart, have faith, and never give up. All right, one.